so I'm making this video for the person who wants to buy a new Mac laptop and they want to make sure it comes with Microsoft Office. I'm going to take you through the front end retail store and then we'll go through the back end reboot store. So here we are at Apple's homepage. So let's go click on the MacBook and we're only looking for Macs that come with Microsoft Office. Okay? So if we scroll down here to included software under the Mac OS and Leopard OS X 10 10.5 Leopard. Microsoft Office does not come because it's made by Microsoft. Okay, this comes with iLife 08, but it does not come with Microsoft Office. Okay, and you can buy this Mac book for $1,200, $1,500, or they have this 13 inch for $999. Let's go look at the MacBook Air. Here we are at the MacBook Air. Scroll down, included software. I don't see Microsoft Office because it's not made by Mac and it is not an iLife product either. Okay, scrolling back up, we can pay $1,700 or $2,400. Let's go to the MacBook Pro. And scroll down, looking for the Microsoft Office software. Um, not included as a part of the Mac software, not included in the iLife uh, stuff either. You can pay $1,900, $2,400, or $2,700. In either of these three options, you will still not have Microsoft Office. So I recommend if you're looking just for a good starter business laptop, just get a MacBook, you'll be fine. It comes with a gig of memory, right? Now to save even more money, right, because we're talking $1,200 or $1,500 for the regular, uh, what is this, uh, oh, for the aluminum MacBook, otherwise uh, $900. If you want to save $150 off the bat, go to the uh, MacBook refurbished area. So refurbished Macs, here we are. And you can just Google for um, refurbished Macs to get to the back-end Mac uh, store. Now, here we go. If we go into the MacBooks, they have MacBooks starting at, wow, $799. One gig of memory. I mean, this is basically, this is awesome. That's $800. You'd be saving, yeah, two to $300 off, right off the bat right there, right? Uh, let's go into the MacBook Air and look at some of the prices here for these refurbs. $900, $1,000, $1,200, considerable savings. Go look at the MacBook Pro. 1200, 1300, 1400. Yeah, I don't see anything, you know, well, maybe in 27, 2200, 2400. Yeah, so this is the place to go, all right? So let's say you do need Microsoft Office, though, right? What are you, well, let's see what happens if we want to buy it at the Apple Store. So we go up here to search, and let's say we put in Microsoft Office. And then we see, oh, Microsoft Office for Mac. Let's go check that out. All right, so here we are, um, Office 2008 for Mac, Home and Student Edition. Now, you notice it says Home and Student, so really this is not intended for a business user, even a small business user or a single business user, but it is $149. Well, hmm, tempting. Well, if you were to get the Standard Edition, you see the price jumps up to nearly $400. You know, and you may be going, well, I'll just get this Home and Student Edition. Well, in terms of licensing, you would be out of compliance. Uh, I have an even better suggestion. Instead of buying this Office 2008 for Mac, um, I would suggest that you head out to places like eBay and pick up what they call gray market software. This means that you can often find older editions of software and that you can install. So we'll go to eBay, and I'm not going to endorse any of these sellers, which may show up in the search results, but it's just giving you an idea. Office for Mac, right? And then let's see what shows up. Oh, Microsoft Office for Mac 2004. Yep, that's what you're looking for. And the whole spiel about how to pick out a good eBay seller, uh, it's not just about the number of feedback items they have. It's not just about if they're positive. Um, one good way is to actually send a message to the seller and see how fast they get back to you. This doesn't at all actually mean that their, the software is valid or legitimate. So your best bet is to try to buy uh, a piece of software from another uh, person like yourself and not from a company. So let's scroll through a couple of these. Let's see, and maybe we can find one that buy it now, which means if you pay that price, then you just get to, you win the auction. You don't have to wait and, uh, you know, hang around for bidding. So I'm going to look for one that's a standard edition that's not a student one. So I think 289 is a little bit too much to pay for um, a version that's four years old. But 
but maybe somewhere between like two to three hundred. So as we scroll down here, we're looking, looking. There's items in the store. Anyway, you get my drift. There you go. Microsoft Standard Edition. Located in the United Kingdom. Well, in a hundred and four dollars. Let's see. And it says best offer, so it couldn't hurt to, you know, pitch them a different price. So there's a seller, 132, so it doesn't look like they're, you know, a huge, big power seller. Uh, they have a, a office stopper here. This is one copy. It's never been registered. Okay, that's good if they say that. Free standard delivery in the UK. You may be looking at 10 to $15 standard ship to the US. Uh, let's go look at the person's feedback. So uh, my thing is, as long as you attempt to purchase legitimate software, at least as legitimate as possible, you're good. Okay, that's what that's what I say. Um, but don't. The other thing too, really, is to consider maybe it's time to make the move to cloud computing and really consider Google Apps. Uh, many people are used to having Microsoft Office and oh, it's a standby, but really, it's the value that it's delivering. I think is diminishing. Okay. So anyway, we have 33 positive feedbacks in the last month. Um, in the last six months, 137, and overall 166. So let's see what these people said. Let's see. Other people bought software. Uh, that person was happy. Fast delivery. Yada yada yada. If you see any neutrals or negatives, it's always good to you know scroll down. A uh, trick I like to do here is um, increase the items per page to um, 200 if possible. But this person doesn't have that much feedback. That way you can just quickly scroll through. So it looks like pretty much everyone was happy. Uh, the other thing to do is to look at how much this person's been buying or selling on eBay. Because if um, fairly new people, like this person with only 12, is saying, oh, this is what I think, um, their opinion just isn't as strong as someone who has 300 feedback ratings. Do you know what I mean? So you use this to evaluate whether, you know, because every purchase is truly a risk in the end. But this is what I would suggest. Otherwise, if you're like, well, you know, maybe I do want to consider um, you know, what you mentioned, what you talked about, this Google Apps thing, just head on over here. And this is what I'm talking about, Google Apps, software as a service for business email, information, and security. I set people up with this for their business email, their calendaring, their documents, all types of collaboration, flat fee of $59 for the company. If we go in here, you can, you can uh, check out the details, it's amazing. They purchased a company called Postini, which was the world leader for spam filtering, so uh, you get a huge inbox, it is just, this is a great value, and you can uh, read all of this at google.com slash A, A like Apple, for their apps solution. So I hope that this helps uh, for you deciding what type of a computer you want to purchase, and if you're looking for office productivity for your Mac, uh, some different options. With that, take care.